Good morning, everybody. Uh, I wanted to make this video fresh this morning with my cup of coffee as my ideas are clear. And uh, just hey, let's dive in it directly. This is a clock. Don't let the background mess with your head, but it's just to uh, show how it is still the same three needles the seconds which goes around in 60 seconds the minutes which goes around in 60 minutes and then the hours going around in 12 by sections of 12 and this is how the decimal system meets the standard system 5 times 12 is 60 10 times uh, 6 is 60 and so in the solar system it's no different and that's why the astrolabe is in the background with the or representing the orbits of each planet and we could say that the earth because it moves faster than the, the gas giants okay goes around in 360 days okay it's actually 365 days but by putting it round to 360 days it's a uh, it's divisible by 12 because 30 times 12 is 360 okay and that's how long this takes for the seconds which moves very fast and that's what determines the greek zodiac in 12 months because 365 days to go around is one year or also known as 12 months because it's 12 orbits of the moon sometimes 13 actually for jupiter which determines the the chinese zodiac and which we could assign to the a minute needle okay it's 12 years to go around or and for saturn to do the same thing is 30 years to go around and that would constitute the hour of the needle to count the long time right and that's why the celtic druids counted time by increments of 30 and that's why still today in uh, Scandinavia, the alphabet is 29 letters long, and so is the Vietnamese alphabet. So the reason why I'm making this video is because the hour is important. The hour in short time as the hour in long time, long period of time. Each planet, the further we go from the sun, determines a longer period of time. The longest that we know of is Pluto, which takes 248 years to complete a full orbit. And in astrology, Pluto governs Scorpio, like Joe Biden, and it governs the ideals. Okay, so it follows the ideals of each zodiac interest as it is in that house and he stays in each house for about 20 years. Now, 200, 248 years ago, that was the foundation of the United States in 1776. And Pluto was in Aquarius. And he made an incursion here recently. It, because of the speed of the Earth, it looks like it retrograded into Capricorn and he's gonna re-enter uh, Aquarius. And he's gonna stay there for 20 years. And the thing of it is, things happen due to perpendicularity and the theorem of Thales. Okay? Opposites attract, and therefore, at perpendicularities, you repulse. You don't see eye to eye at all. And case in point, if I represent this as the sun, okay, in astrology, being in Sagittarius, which is actually a misconception between Earth and Sun, between geocentricity of the Greek system, looking at the Earth being the center of the universe, versus the heliocentric system, which is actually looking at the Sun at the center of the solar system. But we'll dive into that later. 7th of December, Earth is in Sagittarius, 1941. Here, let me move this this way. 1941. Jupiter, which I represented in pink over here, was in Gemini. And that was Pearl Harbor. Since May 30th of 2024, Jupiter is in Gemini. 
and we're slowly uh, going towards Sagittarius because we're the 20th of October now so in two days we'll be in uh, Scorpio and a month later that's it we're in Sagittarius so we're gonna have this opposition okay but at the same time that we have this opposition we have to keep in mind that each planet including Jupiter governs or is at its strongest in a given house of the zodiac and this is so because the orbits of planets is not perfectly circular but elliptical it goes far and then it goes close to the earth and then it goes far and then it goes close to the earth and that's when it is the closest to the earth that it affects the earth the most and it does that for Jupiter <coughs> when it is aligned with the constellation of Aquarius, of a Sagittarius. And in that hallway, opposite to that, is Gemini. And it tends to have similar effects there as well. Not to the same degree, but very similar. And so when that distortion happens between this and the perpendicularity of where it was for the birthday of the United States or other countries who were born there, or over here, uh, sorry, in Pisces, then that's when things engage. The opposite uh, Jupiter in Pisces, for example, is 1962. That was the Cuban Missile Crisis. That was also the independence of Algeria. And that perpendicularity, I put these dots here. The yellow ones are for the Sun, and the red ones are for the uh, Jupiter. So I left... I don't know, I should back up a little bit there. I left this red one here for in Virgo for 1776, the independence of the US, and to show the relationship I wanted to remember with the independence of Algeria, the, the Cuban Missile Crisis, here's the C, the U is over the uh, opposite here. I'm gonna take them out and now discuss how that perpendicularity uh, uh, is a real issue worldwide and not it's not a problem of races as everybody is trying to put it and we can't keep doing that nationalistic idea either because whether you segregate through nationality or gender or age or whatever it is still going to be a segregation and so therefore an exclusion of a, a part of society for another part of society worldwide is going to create the same problem because we live on the same tiny little planet okay regardless of your your passport this is the same rock we live on that is going around and just because you don't feel like being in summertime it's not going to stop summer from from coming any more than we'll stop the moon from shining and coming back full every month so Let's get this straight to begin with. And with that perpendicularity of a position, because we're, we have a celestial DNA, you're born with Jupiter here and the sun here, that is your celestial DNA, okay? That is what the sky DNA has made your body with. And so as a result, independence of the United States is the 4th of July sun in Cancer. And I just took it out, but the chip was in Virgo. Uh, whereas and France is also the sun in um, Cancer, 14th of July, but 1789. 1789, Jupiter was over here in Libra. And that's perpendicular to Cancer and Capricorn, which was Benjamin Franklin. And is today Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk in Cancer. Okay? And Elon Musk is from South Africa, S.A. Um, this perpendicularity relative to England, the UK, 14th of October of the year 1066, the sun was in Libra, so the opposite XY function, and Jupiter, which is over here, in 1066 was the year of the horse. So it's the opposite of France. Just as there is a, a water between France and England, water acts as a mirror. And so 
every time you have a mirror image is going to be even on a t-shirt put backward and that's the relationship you have between France and the UK you'll find the same thing with the uh, independences of any, any nation that has been in conflict with any other nation and so the, the problem we have is a problem of elitism when we segregate and create elitism while pretending to be in a democracy we're not in a circle we're in a pyramidal system okay and you see this pyramid that's just one pyramid but there are plenty of pyramids in Egypt there are plenty of pyramids in uh, South America and other places in the world and guess what all these civilizations collapsed not because it was all failing but because if you keep all the knowledge only at the very tip and everybody else subjugated to it when the very tip doesn't have any if the king doesn't have any uh, sons or or the president we don't have the right president or whatever but then that knowledge goes with them and we're left with TikToks and 12 seconds videos and 12 second attention span and we don't understand how long it takes each planet to do what and why the energy is being more intense at a given time because hey guess what Jupiter came by quicker and so it is perpendicular to this and that is what also causes all the floods and all the tsunamis and all the disturbance because at the center of the earth there's an earth there's an iron core and this iron core moves based on a magnetic tug which are themselves caused by the sun solar flare which disturbs the mag magnetosphere of the earth which in turn displaces the core a bit and all these things don't really care whether or not you believe or do not believe in astrology because they're facts so please stop flooding the internet with opinions and reactions of videos on opinions because that's why true knowledge is not really getting through I'm not trying to sell a, a shop thing icon on my uh, YouTube channel. I'm not asking you to put likes, thumbs on my channel. All I'm asking you is pass this knowledge around because it, without that knowledge, we're going to keep bickering at each other. And I'm, I, I don't, I'm not saying that this is going to be the end of humanity and everybody's going to nuke themselves because humanity has a tendency to have a survival instinct. But... You, we are going to head towards a lot of destruction if we don't learn. And that's just the Thales theorem and Pythagoras, okay? I'm not asking you for the moon. I'm not trying to sell you a religion. I'm not trying to sell you a nationality or even a language. I'm just trying to tell you, hey, you don't learn this, we all might just die. So there are other videos if you want to learn. There is a website, h2o-incorporated.com. If you speak English, you just click on astrology on the menu bar you know it's uh, uh, on the right uh, corner and you look for astrology engineering and all that you read and you click on the icon and it will take you to the videos of scientific academician who already did all the work but if each bit of science discredits the other bit of science which is for example science discredits uh, religion but religion in itself considers itself to be a science it's called theology the same way that politicians have political science to study but if you segregate each thing without understanding that segregation is to separate see you want to make a good cooking thing regardless of where you live culturally is going to take more than one ingredient you cannot segregate the salt from the rest of the the cooking but if you add salt and pepper and mix it ooh flavor wow okay so a bit more love a little bit less discreditation a bit more listening a little bit less talking and this will turn a lot smoother okay thank you so much use this that's the really the best weapon in the world is education and the best problem solving tool is not necessarily this it's this Put love into it. Put your heart into what you do. In everything that you do. Alone or with others. You know? If you love yourself a little more, respect yourself a little more, you respect others a little more. But that requires cultivating oneself.
inside here and inside here. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And let, let's not, you know, uh, go nuts. Thank you.